Dogs are responsive to learning from us as humans, and at least in the beginning stages, in the following order. Through our eye contact and our body language, and then finally, the spoken word. But you would not want to go eye to eye or get into a dog's area unless you knew them very, very well. Every dog is different, but I'm recommending this for the overwhelming percentage of us who have a good relationship with our dog and know that they are uh, likely to react well when we engage them in this way. One of the first things that I like to teach a dog in a class is how to look at us in the eye on command, and that's what we're doing today. Uh, by teaching our dogs to look at us in the eye, that accomplishes a couple of things. We're able to build communication with them in order to teach them moving forward, and we're also able to build a bond with them through eye contact. Dogs naturally look us in the eye, but I want them to be able to do it when we ask. Pulling up a tree directly to my eyes. I want you to look at my training bubble. The training bubble is something that allows us to get fast, fast results with our dog. That is the distance between our eyes. The closer that is initially, the faster our dogs will respond by and large. Uh, over time, we stretch that bubble larger and larger, but it has to be done slowly or else it pops. Does that make sense? So when we have eye contact, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna say the words, watch me or look at me, and then we're going to click as if to say that made the clicker go off when you were looking at me in the eye because I like that behavior. Watch me. You're a smart dog. It looks like this. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me? No, what we don't say is watch me, watch me, watch me. Very good. Chewy. Chewy. Wait, wait, no, don't repeat his name over and over. And then watch me. Yeah, beautiful. Like this? Yep, exactly. Now say watch me. Watch, watch me. Click. Boom, perfect, you got it, that's exactly right. Now we've got them in the habit of looking up here. We want to start to phase out the treat and phase in the hand signal. Everything we teach our dogs, we accompany with some type of visual hand signal. Now I'm not talking about proper hand signals. They can be anything you want. You make them up, you do what you're comfortable doing. This is how I tell a dog to stay. This is how I tell a dog to look at me. Now. This accomplishes a couple of things. We, the reason, there's, a, there's sound reason behind this. A, most dogs are heavily, heavily receptive to exaggerated body language in addition to verbal language. But initially we use our hands to communicate. If you were gonna to talk to somebody who didn't know English for the first time, you might use a lot of body language to explain something to them. That's very much what we're doing with our dogs. And we're gonna accompany it with words. Does that make sense? So in this case, look at me. Now it's gonna be, watch me. Treat's coming from down here this time or wherever. It's not coming from my eyes anymore. Do you understand? We're shifting the emphasis from look at the treat to look into my eyes and the treat's coming from over here now. Does that make sense? Because ultimately we want our dogs focused on us, not food. So this is how we bridge that gap. Watch me. Oh, look at that stare. That, I mean, this is what we're going for. Also, do you see how I'm still hunched over here? I'm still got a nice tight training bubble. This line between our eyes is still very close and very direct and very engaging. Uh, being engaging with our dogs is critical. We can't be robotic. It's not about a step-by-step -step process here. It's about really engaging our own individual dogs. And I think all of you know how to do that very, very well. We just want to get that initial bit of eye contact at first, and then we want to build on that over time. Yes, right there, yes, and boom, perfect, very good. Yes, good, right there. And build on that, that's your foundation, that's your brick. Bree, if I was single, would you not immediately be drawn to me if I had this with me? Watch me, yes, do you see that? Nice and tight, nice and close here. That's where the reason, that's, there's a lack of engagement between you guys right now because you're too far apart. And with your dog being this small, I don't expect you to get down on the ground eye to eye here. Watch me, yes. Very good, watch me, yes. You see this? Look how close I am. Watch me, yes. Wait, watch, I'm not done. But you can use the treat to get his attention because he likes that real meat, but then be ready to engage eye to eye after that treat. Does that make sense? Yes, that was very good. Now say watch me, show me some genuine appreciation, be real. Closer, your eyes need to be closer, you're too far away. Yeah, watch me, good, very good. Perfect, That's you're doing very well. So that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this video. Also, if you want to suggest future topics, I'm completely receptive to that as well. I always love when you guys do that. That's how most of my videos get made, by your recommendations. Uh, also, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash thezachgeorge, and we will see you guys in the next video. Click thumbs up too.